Have you ever found yourself in a completely unfamiliar place with no resources? Picture me, living serenely on a farm in the bucolic Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Now, imagine a series of blunders, each more comedic than the last. There was the time I mistook the rooster for a hen, or when I managed to lose a whole herd of sheep during a night shift. These unfortunate missteps, as hilarious as they were, led to my eviction from paradise. And just like that, I found myself with no home, no money, no car, and no equipment. No. So there I was, with nothing but the clothes on my back and the will to start anew. The road from Bucks County to Alma, Missouri, was long and hard. Hitchhiking was my only option, thumbing down rides from passing vehicles, each one taking me a little further into the heart of America. Many nights were spent in the cold confines of the bus stations, the hard benches my bed and the flickering neon lights my night sky. Each day was a struggle, with just a few dollars to my name, but every hardship was a lesson, every challenge a stepping stone. I met some interesting characters along the way, the trucker with a heart of gold, the waitress with dreams bigger than the diner she worked in. They taught me about resilience, about the true grit of the human spirit. After days of travel I finally reached the small town of Alma, Missouri. Alma, Missouri, a place I'd never heard of, was now to be my new home. It was a town that breathed simplicity, a stark contrast to the familiar hustle of Bucks County. My pockets were empty, my heart heavy, but my resolve unshaken. I found work in a local diner, made friends who felt like family and started rebuilding brick by brick. The initial struggle was real, but so was the sense of belonging that Alma offered. And that's how I found myself in Alma, Missouri starting from scratch. Hello there, welcome to Missouri. Hopefully this uh, game won't crash on me like it did in Bucks, Bucks County. So I'm starting with uh, zero money, no equipment, uh, nothing. Let's do some contracts first and see where that takes us. I think the uh, store is this way. Oh, what's this? This bicycle's by the road. Does that mean it's uh, free? Don't see any for sale signs. Let's take it. Let's get out of here, just in case. Yo, what crazy drivers around here? Jeez. Well, this looks like a good place to go into. Hopefully they have a bulletin board in here. It tells you who's hiring. So we got this woman has a balance contract. The equipment is already at the field. I think the field is right down the road here. This is a uh, pretty big field. It will take quite a while to do. So I guess I will uh, see you guys in a few minutes. Or hours, days, I don't know. A new place, a new home. 
for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it.
Alright, well, this uh, battler, it took a very, very long time. Even with a time lapse, it would took quite a while. So, I'm going to jump to where I start selling, making money from the extra bales, I guess. Alright, first uh, sold extra bales. You got 2,557. Now, the amazing thing is, is how many bales I have left. Let's take a look at this. All of these bales left. Holy crap. That can bring in some uh, good money right there. I'm just gonna, since I can barely see that green lettering up there, wait till the end and do a final total. So all the extra bales brought me $194,000. That is insane. I think, I think that is the most I have ever had extra. So bring us back to the farm. And there's a house. So the woman said to come down to the house and she will pay me. So I should be able to buy at least a truck, right? I don't know if I should buy land or equipment because I'm not, I can't do another bailing contract with that baler. That's for sure. That's for sure. So I might actually buy a baler in case I get a contract with that. Um... Let's go knock on the door and see if she will pay me. All right, money's in hand. 63,260 for that contract. So $258,000 for the first day. With one contract. Guess my dogs are happy about it, huh? All right, well. <clears throat> So I find a truck to buy. Start there. And that'll be it for this first episode. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Take care.